the computer game Fortnite, which allows players to battle with and against each other online, is staging the biggest esports tournament ever seen. Up for grabs in New York is a $3 million first prize, and as our cyber reporter Joe Tidy reports, there's every chance it will be won by a teenager. It's the biggest gathering ever for the biggest game ever. The inaugural Fortnite World Cup whittled down 40 million wannabes to less than 200 finalists. Now it's time for the cream of the crop to fight for the titles. Some of the favourites are British, including Kyle Jackson, known online as Mongrel. It's a lot more serious than people think. It's not just playing the game for fun or whatever. You have to play like, consecutive months a lot every day. Like, you don't just get here from chance. Another contender is 15-year-old Benji Fish from Middlesex. Him and his teammate have both qualified as a duo and individually, meaning they're guaranteed $100,000 each before a single shot is fired. I think it'll be a bit different when I'm on the stage because I've never been on a huge stage like that before. I've only ever played in my bedroom. But right now, I'm, I, I'm really confident. Benji and his parents bet big on this sport. His mum and manager Anne decided to homeschool him so he could concentrate on Fortnite. Certainly when he, the potential of the World Cup came up, we knew he was going to be competing with guys that were going to be practicing for 10, 12 hours a day. So I wanted to give him the best opportunity. It's a sellout here at the Arthur Ashe Stadium with tens of thousands of fans expected over the weekend and potentially millions more online. It's also a big moment in the maker of Fortnite's history as they can finally say they're a big player in esports. According to analysts, the global esports market will exceed the billion dollar revenue mark this year. Almost all the finalists are boys under the age of 16, but some celebrities playing over the weekend include 13-year-old rising star Ewok, who's made waves as the first major streamer who is deaf. Fortnite's rise to this point has not been without controversy. Prince Harry once called for it to be banned for being too addictive. But for these players, it's already changed their lives. And with the prizes on offer here, some are dreaming of even bigger things. Joe Tidy, BBC News, New York. Well, joining us now from New Jersey is Amanda Zaloskas, a journalist for Fortnite Intel, a website dedicated to news about the video game, and she's also a player of the game herself. So, uh, you play. Did you try to get involved in this tournament, Amanda? <laughs> um, I did, actually. I tried to play a little bit, but my full-time job is writing about Fortnite. And like you said in your previous package, um, these kids have to dedicate 10 to 12 hours a day just to be good enough to be considered one of the best. Um, unfortunately, as a 27-year-old with a full-time job, I don't have the time for it, but I still love the game. What do you love about it? Um, yeah, one of my favorite things about Fortnite is the fact that I can hop into a game with 100 different players, and those players can be better than me, they can be worse than me, but whoever is standing at the end is the... is they're the best. There's nothing you can do to argue against it. And for me, this weekend, when you have just about 200 of the best competitors in the world, you can't get any better than that when it comes to esports. Amanda, do you think I'm uh, showing my age or ignorance when I say that I am just staggered by the numbers involved, not least a $3 million prize at the end? Yeah, absolutely. And no, you're not showing your age because I'm dumbfounded by this amount. Um, the creative finals that just finished up, the winners were able to walk away with a million dollars. Um, so if you split that apart from each of the players, they're getting about $300,000. I don't know about you. I would love that money to play for a video game. And like we said before, they've been putting the hours into it. Um, the solo final who wins tomorrow, $3 million. The duo finals, $3 million. It's a life-changing amount. It's, it's crazy to think about. Oh, yeah, for that amount of money, I'm willing to put in the hours, Amanda. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, what, is in, what is in it for the industry, this tournament? What do they get out of this? Yeah, absolutely. So, for me, I work full-time as an esports journalist, but because of Fortnite, I'm allowed to focus on this one game. Just because I'm a writer doesn't mean there aren't other people who can benefit from this within the industry. 
you have streamers. Amanda, have I'm so players. sorry. We're up against the clock. I'm going to let you to go and practice. I'm going to practice after I finish this program. You're watching BBC World News. I'm Duncan Golastani. Bye-bye.